everyone and welcome to the Time to Cook Club Infants and your online class. And a very happy new year to you all. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and that you are super excited about all the adventures that are to come in 2021. So today we're going to be starting on our January meat free dishes menu in the Time to Cook Clubs. And the recipe that we're going to be making today is baked aubergine with tomato and feta. So little cooks, the first thing you need to do if you haven't already is you need to go and wash your hands and make sure that they're all sparkly and clean. Welcome back little cooks, so hopefully by now your hands are all sparkly and clean. Now we've got to sing our very special time to cook song to get us in the mood to bake. So when you see this you're going to go chop 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 chop. When you see this you're going to go mash 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 like mashed bananas or mashed potato. When you see this one, you're going to go stir, 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 stir with your spoon. Then we've got roll, 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 roll with our rolling pins. And last but not least, we have pat, 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 as if we're patting down pizza dough or cookie dough. So go and grab your grown-ups and use it as the perfect excuse to have a really good boogie around your kitchen. I'll be listening out from my kitchen to see if I can hear you singing along in yours. Get ready, it's time to cook today. Get ready, we're gonna have some fun. Get ready, it's time to cook today and show everyone what we've done. We're gonna chop, 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 chop it up. Great work, little cooks, good chopping. We're gonna mash, 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 mash it up. Keep mashing. We're gonna stir, 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 stir with a spoon. Keep stirring, little cooks, well done. It will be ready soon. Get ready, it's time to cook today. Get ready, we're gonna have some fun. Get ready, it's time to cook today and show everyone what we've done. We're gonna roll it, roll it, round down, round. Great rolling, well done. We're gonna pop, pop, pop them, pop, pop, pop. Are you ready to pop it in the oven, little cooks? In the oven on a tray. Don't forget to pop your hats on. We will be chefs today. Get ready, it's time to cook today. Get ready, we're gonna have some fun. Get ready. It's time to cook today and show everyone what we've done. I should dance hands into cooks. It's time to cook. Yeah. Yay! Well done, little cooks. That was absolutely awesome. I did listen out from my kitchen and I heard you singing along in yours, and you guys sounded brilliant. So, little cooks, we have washed our hands and made sure that they're all sparkly and clean. And we have also sung our very special time to cook song to get us in the mood to cook which must mean that we are all ready to start. So hopefully if you're joining me today, you have all of your ingredients weighed out, measured and ready to go. And if you helped with the task of measuring them out, well done little cooks, that's amazing practical maths. You guys rock. Hopefully you also have the equipment on the equipment list too. So let's okay, make little cook. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut the stalk off of our aubergine. So when we're cutting, the same rules apply as usual. So we're cutting on a chopping board, we're watching what we're doing at all times and we're keeping our fingers well away from that sharp blade. So we're just going to cut the stalk off of the aubergine like so. So if you haven't already, you need to wash your aubergine and you need to dry it um, with some kitchen towel, okay? Just to remove the moisture. Now using a fork, you're going to carefully prick the aubergine all over, okay? which is going to help to let the steam out of the um, aubergine when you're cooking it, okay? So you're gonna prick it all over. Just be careful, obviously, that you're moving your fingers away from the prongs of the fork as they go into the aubergine, because it can be very sharp, okay? So you're making some holes um, for the steam to come out. And then what you need to do is you need to get some olive oil and pour it into a little cup or a dish. And then you're going to get a pastry brush and you're just going to um, paint olive oil all over the skin of the aubergine. And that's going to help it to crisp up, okay? Like so. So you don't need loads on there, so just paint kind of one layer 
of olive oil all over the aubergine. Great work, little cooks. Well done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get a microwavable dish and you're going to line it with a piece of kitchen roll. You're then going to pop your aubergine onto the kitchen roll and you're going to ask your grown-up to help you to pop that one in the microwave and microwave on high for one minute and 30 seconds. Grown-ups, after your aubergine has been microwaved for one minute and 30 seconds, you're going to very, very carefully turn the aubergine over so that the um, bottom is now on the top and then you're going to microwave it again for another two minutes on high. Remember though that the aubergine will be really really hot so you might want to turn it over using two forks. Once you've cooked your aubergine on both sides in the microwave you're then going to leave the aubergine to rest for four minutes before carefully taking it out of the microwave and allowing it to cool slightly. But that's definitely a job for the grown-ups so little cooks please do ask your grown-ups for help with that job. And I'll see you in a bit once you have microwaved your aubergine. Okay, welcome back little cooks. So hopefully by now your aubergine has been cooked in the microwave. So now you need to go and ask your grown-ups to help you to preheat the oven. So it needs to be set to either gas mark seven or 220 degrees or 200 degrees if you're using a fan oven. The reason why we ask our grown-ups to help with this task is because ovens can get very hot and so can be very dangerous and we definitely don't want any burnt hands or fingers today. The reason why we have to preheat the oven is to make sure that the oven is at the perfect temperature to cook our bakes in when we're ready to pop them in. Once you've got your grown-up to preheat the oven, you also need to line a baking tray with some non-stick baking paper. So once your aubergine is cool enough to handle, you're going to cut it in half, remembering um, to be really, really careful of your fingers. Okay, so you're going to cut your aubergine in half, which is going to give you um, two halves. And then you're going to use a spoon to scoop out the flesh of the aubergine. Now you do have to be really, really careful when you're doing this because you don't want to break um, or split the skin of the aubergine, okay? So you have to be really, really gentle when you're doing it. And obviously you do need to make sure that it's cool enough for you to be able to handle without hurting your fingers. So you're just going to scoop out the flesh of the aubergine, okay, and pop it into a bowl. But like I said, just go very carefully and gently, okay, because you don't want to damage the skin of the aubergine at all. So join me back here once you've scooped out all the flesh of your aubergine and it's popped into the bowl and we can continue with our bake together. Okay, welcome back little cooks. So once you've scooped out the flesh of your aubergine, you're then going to get a pastry brush and you're just going to brush the inside of the aubergine shell with some olive oil like so. You're also going to sprinkle over the top some dried oregano, which is going to give um, the aubergine shells a really lovely flavour. And you're going to pop these aubergine shells onto your baking tray like this, okay? You're then going to get to your cherry tomatoes and you're going to very carefully cut them in half. Now you can make a little rainbow bridge over the top of your tomatoes like so, and before popping them down, okay, cut side up onto the non-stick baking paper, okay, in your tin along with the aubergine shells. So go nice and slowly when you're cutting your tomatoes and remember to look at what you're doing at all times and to keep your fingers well away from that blade. Shall we sing our song, little cooks? We're gonna chop, 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 chop it up. Great work, little cooks, well done. So once you've chopped up all of your tomatoes and, and pop them cut side up onto your non-stick baking paper, you're then going to use your um, pastry brush to pop a little dab of olive oil on the tomatoes, like so. You're also going to add a sprinkle of oregano over the top of your chopped tomatoes as well, okay? And the olive oil that you've just popped onto the top of them um, should help the oregano to stick. Great work, little cooks, well done. You're then going to ask your grown-ups to pop these into the oven to cook for just 10 minutes. But join me back here once your grown-ups have done that job because we can prepare the filling for our aubergine shells while our aubergine shells are cooking away. Okay, welcome back, little cooks. So in a small bowl, you're going to pop in your chopped tomatoes. You're also going to add in a good shake of oregano. Now you're going to reserve some of your basil leaves for decoration. You're going to then cut the basil leaves 
into small pieces. Now, I always find it easier to do this job with scissors, okay? Just um, remember that the blades of the scissors are super sharp um, and make sure that your fingers are nowhere near them. And if you've got any stalky bits at the end, which are a bit tough, um, you can cut those off instead of popping those ones in. Okay, so you're just going to cut up your um, basil leaves um, into small pieces. Um, I'm only using three basil leaves, um, but obviously you could use more if you like a strong flavour. But remember that you will need to save a couple um, to add as a garnish to the top of your aubergine shells once they've been cooked. You also need to add in your clove of crushed garlic, okay? So I'm just going to peel my garlic clove like so, okay, um, before popping it into my garlic press. Now, if you don't have a garlic press, don't worry. Um, you can just do this by cutting your garlic into very, very small pieces. Okay, but I've got a garlic press, so I'm just going to pop my garlic clove into the top and I'm gonna squeeze down um, and then I'm going to scrape the garlic just from the holes um, at the bottom of the garlic press. Great work, little cooks, well done. I'm then gonna season with salt and pepper. I'm gonna pop a bit in my hand, so that's the salt and also the pepper. Like so. Okay, I'm now gonna measure out a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, and I'm gonna do that over a separate cup, and that way if I measure out too much, I'm not ruining the rest of my ingredients. So that's just one teaspoon. Okay, and I'm also going to add in a dessert spoon of light brown sugar. So once you've added all those ingredients into your small mixing bowl, you're going to give um, them a stir with a spoon, like so. And then the flesh that you scooped out from the aubergine earlier, you're going to chop up into small pieces. It should definitely be cool enough to handle, okay? But just um, be careful as you go, okay? So we're just going to spend some time cutting this aubergine flesh into small pieces um, before we start to um, fill our aubergine shells. So again, little cooks, um, just be careful when you're using your knife that you're watching what you're doing at all times. So join me back here when you've cut up your aubergine flesh and we can continue with our dish together. Okay, welcome back little cook. So hopefully by now you have your cooked aubergine skins and you've also cut up your aubergine flesh and added it to the rest of the ingredients. So we need to give those ingredients a really, really good stir. And now what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully fill our aubergine skins with the tomato-y based mixture. But do please be very careful because your aubergine skins will still be very hot. Okay, so we're going to um, spoon in our mixture, like so. Okay. And just try and get in as much as you possibly can. Don't worry if it kind of goes over into the dish, that's fine. But hopefully, if your skin, aubergine skin, has stayed intact, um, then it should hold the mixture inside, okay? And you're just going to keep going until you have um, filled up your aubergine skins with the tomato mixture. And then um, drop me back here and we can continue with the dish together. Okay, welcome back, little cooks. And if you do have any mixture left, you can always heat it up and have it as a lovely pasta sauce. So now you need to go and ask your grown-ups to reduce the temperature of the oven to either gas mark 6 or 200 degrees or 180 degrees if you're using a fan oven. And you're going to ask your grown-ups to place the aubergine shells into the oven and cook them for a further 10 okay. minutes. While you're waiting for your aubergine shells to cook, you can be chopping up your feta cheese into small chunks because you're going to sprinkle the feta cheese on top of your aubergine shells as well as the roasted tomatoes. So you can keep going, chopping up your feta, okay? And join me back here once your um, aubergines have been cooked in the oven and I'll show you um, how to do the finishing touch. Okay, welcome back little cook. So hopefully by now your aubergines with the filling have been cooking in the oven for 10 minutes and your grown up has taken the dish out of the oven. 
please, please, please be super careful because your dish will be absolutely boiling hot. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop on your um, roasted tomatoes onto the top of your aubergine. Okay, so just share those tomatoes out between the two aubergine shells. Okay, like so. And once you've popped on your tomatoes, you're then going to pop on your chopped up pieces of feta cheese. So you can just kind of pile those in between the tomatoes. Um, don't push down too hard because otherwise all the filling will come out of the aubergine shells. But again, you're just going to share the feta between the two um, aubergine shells, okay? So keep going until you have um, popped all of that lovely feta cheese on top, like so. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to go and ask your grown-ups to pop this dish back into the oven for another 15 minutes or until the tomato filling is bubbling and hot. And there you have your wonderful stuffed aubergine with tomato and feta. And when you serve this dish, you can do so by garnishing the top of your aubergine shells with some fresh basil. That would make it look absolutely delicious. You can serve this with some fresh bread maybe, or I think I'm gonna have mine um, with some peas because it's actually quite filling. Or maybe you want to make some sweet potato wedges. That would be a really lovely. I'm on making your stuffed aubergine with tomato and feta, but we've still got our washing up to do. So if you would like to join me for the Time to Cook washing up song, you will need a washing up bowl filled with warm soapy water, a dishcloth, a tea towel, and just a couple of items to wash up, nothing sharp or dangerous. Bring your best dance moves and also a grown up and use it as the perfect excuse to have a really good boogie around your kitchen. Now it's time and now we're done to have a different type of fun. So we must clean up all our mess. We must make sure that we do our best. So grab a bowl and grab a spoon and grab a friend to sing this tune and we can all work as we play in a washing and a drying way get ready little cats you gotta wash a wash a wash a wash a wash it up a scrub a dab dab down in the tub you gotta wash a wash a wash a wash it till it's clean the cleanest you've ever seen you gotta swish it and a swash it and a swell it around Making swishing and swashing and swelling sounds. You gotta wash a wash a wash a wash a wash it up until the baking time is up. Well done, little cooks. Amazing washing up and drying. Should we do some dancing? Okay. Right, are you ready? We're going to start off with our rainbow with one arm. Like this, nice big stretch. We're going to do the other rainbow with the other arm. And then we're going to do a double rainbow like this, with both arms together. Wow, great stretching. Can we do a disco arm with one arm, like so? Can we speed it up though? Woo, well done little cooks. Can we do the other one? Slow, 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 fast, 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 quick, 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 quick. Well done, can we do them both together with a little wiggle? Wow, amazing work little cooks, well done. Fantastic, can we do some smoky eyes? Woo, can we go under the sea? Wow, look at those bubbles, fantastic. Well done little kids, awesome dancing. Woo, we gotta wash a wash a wash a wash a wash it up. Let's grab a dub dub down in the tub. You gotta wash a wash a wash a wash it till it's clean. The cleanest you've ever seen. You gotta swish it and swish it and swell it around Making swishing and swashing and swelling sounds You gotta wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it up Until the baking time is up Woo! Well done little cakes, that was absolutely amazing Fantastic washing up and wonderful dancing You guys rock! Okay little cakes, thank you so much for joining me today to make your stuffed aubergine with tomato and feta. I really hope you enjoy joining in with me, but more importantly, I hope you enjoy eating it and sharing it with your family. I really look forward to cooking with you again next week when we'll be making another delicious bake from our meat-free dishes. Have a super week, little cooks. Bye!